Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Right now, all eyes are on Pennsylvania. At the moment, I'm recording this video and right now it is 6.05 p.m. East Coast time. At the time I'm recording this video, there are 326,000 outstanding votes in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Remember, Pennsylvania has 20 electoral votes. If former Vice President Joe Biden wins Pennsylvania, this is over. In other words, if President Trump does not win Pennsylvania, you know, that, that's it. That's none of the other states matter because Pennsylvania has 20, 20 electoral votes. So right now, there are 326,000 votes left to count in Pennsylvania and we have 93% of the votes in, in Pennsylvania. At the moment, President Trump is at 50.1% and former Vice President Joe Biden is at 48 0.7%. Remember, it's 6.06 p.m. East Coast time at the time I'm recording this video. And the president is leading by 90,542 votes. That's 90,542 votes that the president is leading by right now. All the votes that have come in today, which are the mail-in votes, which tend to skew Democratic, keep in mind, uh, because a lot of Democrats have preferred to vote by mail. Uh, former Vice President Joe Biden has gotten 78% of these votes that have come in so far. So again, former Vice President Joe Biden has done has gotten 78% of the mail-in votes that have been coming in that have been tabulated today. So based on my math, former Vice President Joe Biden simply has to come close to that number. He could even be at 70% of the remaining 326,000 votes. Keep in mind, there are 326,000 votes left to count. If former Vice President Joe Biden gets 70% of them leading up to the final count, uh, he will be able to erase President Trump's lead, which is currently 90,542 votes. That's what it's tracking to be. We don't know whether it's going to turn out that way. <clears throat> it may not. But based on the trends, based on the fact that these are mail-in votes, based on the fact that these tend to skew Democratic, and based on the fact that former Vice President Joe Biden is already getting 78% of these votes, even if he falls to 70%, there are 326,000 votes remaining. And if former Vice President Joe Biden gets 70% of the remaining votes, instead of the 78 that he has been getting so far today, he could uh, he could win Pennsylvania. That's where things stand right now, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And also, please, if you learned something new from this video, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications.